In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. The Noble Qur'an, Part 14, Chapter 15, Al-Hijr, the Valley of Stone. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra. These are the verses of the book, and a clear Qur'an that is recitation. Perhaps those who disbelieve will wish that they had been Muslims. Let them eat and enjoy themselves, and be diverted by false hope, for they are going to know. And we did not destroy any city, but that for it was a known decree. No nation will precede its term, nor will they remain thereafter. And they say, O oh, you upon whom the message has been sent down, indeed you are mad. Why do you not bring us the angels, if you should be among the truthful? We do not send down the angels except with truth, and they, that is the disbelievers, would not then be reprieved. Indeed it is we who send down the message, that is the Qur'an, and indeed we will be its guardian. And we had certainly sent messengers before you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, among the sects of the former peoples, and no messenger would come to them except that they ridiculed him. Thus do we insert it, that is denial, into the hearts of the criminals. They will not believe in it, while there has already occurred the precedent of the former peoples. And even if we opened to them a gate from the heaven, and they continued therein to ascend, they would say, Our eyes have only been dazzled, rather we are a people affected by magic, and we have placed within the heaven great stars, and have beautified it for the observers and we have protected it from every devil expelled from the mercy of Allah, except one who steals a hearing and is pursued by a clear burning flame. And the earth, we have spread it and cast therein firmly set mountains and caused to grow therein something of every well-balanced thing. And we have made for you therein means of living and for those for whom you are not providers. And there is not a thing but that with us are its depositories, and we do not send it down except according to a known, that is specified measure. And we have sent the fertilizing winds, and sent down water from the sky, and given you drink from it, and you are not its retainers. And indeed it is we who give life and cause death, and we are the inheritor. And we have already known the preceding generations among you, and we have already known the later ones to come. And indeed your Lord will gather them, indeed he is wise and knowing. And we did certainly create man out of clay, from an altered black mud, and the jinn we created before from scorching fire. And mention, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, when your Lord said to the angels, I will create a human being out of clay, from an altered black mud, and when I have proportioned him, and breathe into him of my created soul, then fall down to him in prostration. So the angels prostrated, all of them entirely, except Iblis. He refused to be with those who prostrated. Allah said, O Iblis, what is the matter with you that you are not with those who prostrate? He said, Never would I prostrate to a human whom you created out of clay from an altered black mud. Allah said, Then depart from it, for indeed you are expelled, and indeed upon you is the curse until the day of recompense. He said, My Lord, then reprieve me until the day they are resurrected. Allah said, So indeed you are of those reprieved, until the day of the time well known. Iblis said, My Lord, because you have put me in error, I will surely make disobedience attractive to them, that is mankind, on earth and I will mislead them all, except among them your chosen servants. Allah said, This is a path of return to me that is straight. Indeed, my servants, no authority will you have over them, except those who follow you of the deviators. And indeed, hell is the promised place for them all. It has seven gates, for every gate is of them that is Satan's followers, a portion designated. Indeed, the righteous will be within gardens and springs, having been told, enter it in peace, safe and secure. And we will remove whatever is in their breasts of resentment, so they will be brothers on thrones facing each other. No fatigue will touch them therein, 
nor from it will they ever be removed. O Muhammad, peace be upon him, inform my servants that it is I who am the forgiving, the merciful, and that it is my punishment which is the painful punishment, and inform them about the guests of Abraham. When they entered upon him and said, Peace, Abraham said, Indeed we are fearful, that is apprehensive of you. The angel said, Fear not, indeed we give you good tidings of a learned boy. He said, Have you given me good tidings, although old age has come upon me? Then of what wonder do you inform? They said, We have given you good tidings in truth, so do not be of the despairing. He said, And who despairs of the mercy of his Lord, except for those astray? Abraham said, Then what is your business here, O messengers? They said, Indeed we have been sent to a people of criminals, except the family of Lot. Indeed we will save them all, except his wife, we, that is Allah, decreed that she is of those who remain behind. And when the messengers came to the family of Lot, he said, Indeed you are a people unknown. They said, But we have come to you with that about which they were disputing, and we have come to you with truth, and indeed we are truthful. So set out with your family during a portion of the night, and follow behind them, and let not any one among you look back, and continue on to where you are commanded. And we conveyed to him the decree of that matter, that those sinners would be eliminated by early morning. And the people of the city came rejoicing. Lot said, Indeed these are my guests, so do not shame me, and fear Allah, and do not disgrace me. They said, Have we not forbidden you from protecting people? Lot said, These are my daughters, if you would be doers of lawful marriage. By your life, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, indeed they were, in their intoxication wandering blindly. So the shriek seized them at sunrise, and we made the highest part of the city its lowest, and rained upon them stones of hard clay. Indeed in that are signs for those who discern, and indeed they, that is those cities, are situated on an established road. Indeed, in that is a sign for the believers. And the companions of the thicket, that is the people of Madian, were also wrongdoers. So we took retribution from them, and indeed both cities are on a clear highway. And certainly did the companions of Al-Hijr, that is the Thamud, deny the messengers. And we gave them our signs, but from them they were turning away. And they used to carve from the mountains houses, feeling secure but the shriek seized them at early morning. So nothing availed them from what they used to earn. And we have not created the heavens and the earth, and that between them except in truth. And indeed the hour is coming, so forgive with gracious forgiveness. Indeed your Lord, he is the knowing creator. And we have certainly given you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, seven of the often repeated verses and the great Qur'an. Do not extend your eyes toward that by which we have given enjoyment to certain categories of them, that is, the disbelievers. And do not grieve over them, and lower your wing, that is, show kindness to the believers. And say, Indeed, I am the clear warner, just as we had revealed scriptures to the separators, who have made the Qur'an into portions. So by your Lord we will surely question them all about what they used to do. Then declare what you are commanded, and turn away from the polytheists. Indeed we are sufficient for you against the mockers, who make equal with Allah another deity, but they are going to know, and we already know that your breast is constrained by what they say. So exalt Allah with praise of your Lord, and be of those who prostrate to him, and worship your Lord until there comes to you the certainty that is death. This completes Chapter 15, Al-Hijr, the Valley of Stone. Chapter 16, An-Nahl, the Bee. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. The command of Allah is coming, so be not impatient for it. Exalted is he, and high above what they associate with him. He sends down the angels with the inspiration that is revelation of his command, upon whom he wills of his servants telling them, Warn that there is no deity except me, so fear me. 
He created the heavens and earth in truth. High is he above what they associate with him. He created man from a sperm drop, then at once he is a clear adversary. And the grazing livestock he has created for you, in them is warmth and numerous benefits, and from them you eat. And for you in them is the enjoyment of beauty, when you bring them in for the evening, and when you send them out to pasture. And they carry your loads to a land you could not have reached, except with difficulty to yourselves. Indeed, your Lord is kind and merciful. And he created the horses, mules, and donkeys for you to ride, and as adornment. And he creates that which you do not know. And upon Allah is the direction of the right way. And among them, that is the various paths, are those deviating. And, if he willed, he could have guided you all. It is he who sends down rain from the sky. From it is drink, and from it is foliage in which you pasture animals. He causes to grow for you thereby the crops, olives, palm trees, grapevines, and from all the fruits. Indeed, in that is a sign for a people who give thought. And he has subjected for you the night and day, and the sun and moon, and the stars are subjected by his command. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who reason. And he has subjected whatever he multiplied for you on the earth of varying colors. Indeed, in that is a sign for a people who remember. And it is he who subjected the sea for you to eat from it, tender meat, and to extract from it ornaments which you wear. And you see the ships plowing through it, and he subjected it, that you may seek of his bounty, and perhaps you will be grateful. And he has cast into the earth firmly set mountains, lest it shift with you, and made rivers and roads that you may be guided, and landmarks, and by the stars they are also guided. Then is he who creates like one who does not create, so will you not be reminded. And if you should count the favors of Allah, you could not enumerate them. Indeed, Allah is forgiving and merciful. And Allah knows what you conceal and what you declare. And those they invoke other than Allah create nothing, and they themselves are created. They are in fact dead, not alive, and they do not perceive when they will be resurrected. Your God is one God, but those who do not believe in the hereafter, their hearts are disapproving, and they are arrogant. Assuredly, Allah knows what they conceal and what they declare. Indeed, He does not like the arrogant. And when it is said to them, what has your Lord sent down, they say, legends of the former peoples, that they may bear their own burdens, that is sins, in full on the day of resurrection, and some of the burdens of those whom they misguide without, that is by lack of knowledge. Unquestionably, evil is that which they bear. Those before them had already plotted, but Allah came at, that is uprooted, their building from the foundations, so the roof fell upon them from above them, and the punishment came to them from where they did not perceive. Then on the day of resurrection he will disgrace them and say, Where are my partners for whom you used to oppose the believers? Those who are given knowledge will say, Indeed disgrace this day and evil are upon the disbelievers, the ones whom the angels take in death while wronging themselves, and who then offer submission saying, We were not doing any evil, but yes, Indeed, Allah is knowing of what you used to do. So enter the gates of hell to abide eternally therein, and how wretched is the residence of the arrogant. And it will be said to those who feared Allah, What did your Lord send down? They will say, That which is good. For those who do good in this world is good, and the home of the hereafter is better. And how excellent is the home of the righteous! Gardens of perpetual residence, which they will enter, beneath which rivers flow. They will have therein whatever they wish. Thus does Allah reward the righteous, the ones whom the angels take in death, being good and pure. The angels will say, Peace be upon you. Enter paradise for what you used to do. Do they, that is the disbelievers, await except that the angels should come to them, or there comes the command of your Lord? Thus did those do before them. And Allah wronged them not, but they had been wronging themselves. So they were struck by the evil consequences of what they did, and were enveloped by what they used to ridicule. 
And those who associate others with Allah say, If Allah had willed, we would not have worshipped anything other than Him, neither we nor our fathers, nor would we have forbidden anything through other than Him. Thus did those do before them. So is there upon the messengers except the duty of clear notification. And we certainly sent into every nation a messenger saying, Worship Allah and avoid Taghut. And among them were those whom Allah guided, and among them were those upon whom error was deservedly decreed. So proceed, that is, travel through the earth, and observe how was the end of the deniers. Even if you should strive for their guidance, O Muhammad, peace be upon him. Indeed, Allah does not guide those he sends astray, and they will have no helpers. And they swear by Allah their strongest oaths, that Allah will not resurrect one who dies. But yes, it is a true promise binding upon him, but most of the people do not know. It is so he will make clear to them the truth of that wherein they differ, and so those who have disbelieved may know that they were liars. Indeed, our word to a thing when we intend it is, but that we say to it, Be, and it is. And those who emigrated for the cause of Allah after they had been wronged, we will surely settle them in this world in a good place, but the reward of the hereafter is greater, if only they could know. They are those who endured patiently and upon their Lord relied, and we sent not before you except men to whom we revealed our message. So ask the people of the message, that is former scriptures, if you do not know. We sent them with clear proofs and written ordinances, and we reveal to you the message, that is the Qur'an, that you may make clear to the people what was sent down to them, and that they might give thought. Then do those who have planned evil deeds feel secure that Allah will not cause the earth to swallow them, or that the punishment will not come upon them from where they do not perceive, or that He would not seize them during their usual activity, and they could not cause failure, that is, escape from Him or that he would not seize them gradually in a state of dread, but indeed your Lord is kind and merciful. Have they not considered what things Allah has created? Their shadows incline to the right and to the left, prostrating to Allah, while they, that is those creations, are humble. And to Allah prostrates whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth of creatures and the angels as well, and they are not arrogant. They fear their Lord above them, and they do what they are commanded. And Allah has said, Do not take for yourselves two deities. He, that is Allah, is but one God, so fear only me. And to him belongs whatever is in the heavens and the earth, and to him is due worship constantly. Then is it other than Allah that you fear. And whatever you have of favor, it is from Allah. Then when adversity touches you, to him you cry for help. Then when he removes the adversity from you, at once a party of you associates others with their Lord. So they will deny what we have given them. Then enjoy yourselves, for you are going to know. And they assign to what they do not know, that is false deities, a portion of that which we have provided them. By Allah, you will surely be questioned about what you used to invent. And they attribute to Allah daughters, exalted is he, and for them is what they desire, that is, sons. And when one of them is informed of the birth of a female, his face becomes dark and he suppresses grief. He hides himself from the people because of the ill of which he has been informed. Should he keep it in humiliation or bury it in the ground? Unquestionably, evil is what they decide. For those who do not believe in the hereafter is the description that is an attribute of evil. And for Allah is the highest attribute, and He is exalted in might, the wise. And if Allah were to impose blame on the people for their wrongdoing, He would not have left upon it, that is the earth, any creature, but He defers them for a specified term. And when their term has come, they will not remain behind an hour, nor will they precede it. And they attribute to Allah that which they dislike, that is daughters, and their tongues assert the lie that they will have the best from Him. Assuredly, they will have the fire, and they will be therein neglected. By Allah, we did certainly send messengers to nations before you, but Satan made their deeds attractive to them. And he is there, that is the disbelievers, ally today as well, and they will have a painful punishment. 
And we have not revealed to you the book, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, except for you to make clear to them that wherein they have differed and as guidance and mercy for a people who believe. And Allah has sent down rain from the sky and given life thereby to the earth after its lifelessness. Indeed, in that is a sign for a people who listen. And indeed for you in grazing livestock is a lesson. We give you drink from what is in their bellies, between excretion and blood, pure milk, palatable to drinkers. And from the fruits of the palm trees and grape vines you take intoxicant and good provision. Indeed in that is a sign for a people who reason. And your Lord inspired to the bee, take for yourself among the mountains, houses, that is hives, and among the trees and in that which they construct. Then eat from all the fruits and follow the ways of your Lord laid down for you. There emerges from their bellies a drink varying in colors in which there is healing for people. Indeed in that is a sign for a people who give thought. And Allah created you, then he will take you in death. And among you is he who is reversed to the most decrepit old age, so that he will not know after having had knowledge a thing. Indeed, Allah is knowing and competent. And Allah has favored some of you over others in provision. But those who were favored, that is given more, would not hand over their provision to those whom their right hands possess, that is slaves, so they would be equal to them therein. Then is it the favor of Allah they reject. And Allah has made for you from yourselves mates, and has made for you from your mates sons and grandchildren, and has provided for you from the good things. Then in falsehood, do they believe, and in the favor of Allah they disbelieve. And they worship besides Allah that which does not possess for them the power of provision from the heavens and the earth at all, and in fact they are unable. So do not assert similarities to Allah. Indeed, Allah knows and you do not know. Allah presents an example, a slave who is owned and unable to do a thing, and he to whom we have provided from us good provision. So he spends from it secretly and publicly. Can they be equal? Praise to Allah, but most of them do not know. And Allah presents an example of two men, one of them dumb and unable to do a thing, while he is a burden to his guardian. Wherever he directs him, he brings no good. Is he equal to one who commands justice while he is on a straight path? And to Allah belongs the unseen aspects of the heavens and the earth. And the command for the hour is not, but as a glance of the eye, or even nearer. Indeed, Allah is over all things competent. And Allah has extracted you from the wombs of your mothers, not knowing a thing. And he made for you hearing and vision, and hearts, that is intellect, that perhaps you would be grateful. Do they not see the birds controlled in the atmosphere of the sky? None holds them up except Allah. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who believe. And Allah has made for you from your homes a place of rest, and made for you from the hides of the animals tents, which you find light on your day of travel and your day of encampment. And from their wool, fur, and hair is furnishing and enjoyment that is provision for a time. And Allah has made for you from that which he has created shadows that is shade, and has made for you from the mountains shelters, and has made for you garments which protect you from the heat, and garments, that is coats of mail, which protect you from your enemy in battle. Thus does he complete his favor upon you, that you might submit to him. But if they turn away, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, then only upon you is responsibility for clear notification. They recognize the favor of Allah, then they deny it, and most of them are disbelievers. And mention the day when we will resurrect from every nation a witness, that is their prophet, then it will not be permitted to the disbelievers to apologize or make excuses, nor will they be asked to appease Allah. And when those who wronged see the punishment, it will not be lightened for them, nor will they be reprieved. And when those who associated others with Allah see their partners, they will say, Our Lord, these are our partners to you, whom we used to invoke besides you. But they will throw at them the statement, Indeed, you are liars and they will impart to Allah that day their submission, and lost from them is what they used to invent. Those who disbelieved and averted others from the way of Allah, we will increase them in punishment over their punishment for what corruption they were causing. 
and mention the day when we will resurrect among every nation a witness over them from themselves, that is their prophet, and we will bring you a Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a witness over these, that is your nation, and we have sent down to you the book as clarification for all things, and as guidance and mercy and good tidings for the Muslims. Indeed, Allah orders justice and good conduct and giving to relatives and forbids immorality and bad conduct and oppression. He admonishes you that perhaps you will be reminded. And fulfill the covenant of Allah when you have taken it, O believers. And do not break oaths after their confirmation while you have made Allah over you a security that is witness. Indeed, Allah knows what you do. And do not be like she who untwisted her spun thread after it was strong by taking your oaths as means of deceit between you, because one community is more plentiful in number or wealth than another community. Allah only tries you thereby, and He will surely make clear to you on the day of resurrection that over which you used to differ. And if Allah had willed, he could have made you of one religion, but he causes to stray whom he wills and guides whom he wills. And you will surely be questioned about what you used to do. And do not take your oaths as means of deceit between you, lest a foot slip after it was once firm, and you would taste evil in this world, for what people you diverted from the way of Allah, and you would have in the hereafter a great punishment. And do not exchange the covenant of Allah for a small price. Indeed, what is with Allah is best for you, if only you could know. Whatever you have will end, but what Allah has is lasting. And we will surely give those who were patient their reward, according to the best of what they used to do. Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life. And we will surely give them their reward in the hereafter, according to the best of what they used to do. So when you recite the Qur'an, first seek refuge in Allah from Satan, the expelled from his mercy. Indeed, there is for him no authority over those who have believed and rely upon their Lord. His authority is only over those who take him as an ally and those who through him associate others with Allah. And when we substitute a verse in place of a verse, and Allah is most knowing of what He sends down. They say, You, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, are but an inventor of lies, but most of them do not know. Say, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, the pure spirit, that is Gabriel, has brought it down from your Lord in truth to make firm those who believe, and as guidance and good tidings to the Muslims. And we certainly know that they say, It is only a human being who teaches him, that is the Prophet, peace be upon him. The tongue of the one they refer to is foreign, and this recitation, that is Qur'an, is in a clear Arabic language. Indeed, those who do not believe in the verses of Allah, Allah will not guide them, and for them is a painful punishment. They only invent falsehood who do not believe in the verses of Allah, and it is those who are the liars. Whoever disbelieves in, that is denies Allah after his belief, except for one who is forced to renounce his religion while his heart is secure in faith. But those who willingly open their breasts to disbelief, upon them is wrath from Allah, and for them is a great punishment. That is because they preferred the worldly life over the hereafter, and that Allah does not guide the disbelieving people. Those are the ones over whose hearts and hearing and vision Allah has sealed, and it is those who are the heedless. Assuredly, it is they in the hereafter who will be the losers. Then indeed, your Lord, to those who emigrated after they had been compelled to say words of disbelief and thereafter fought for the cause of Allah and were patient, indeed, your Lord, after that, is forgiving and merciful. On the day when every soul will come disputing that is pleading for itself, and every soul will be fully compensated for what it did, and they will not be wronged that is treated unjustly, and Allah presents an example, a city, that is Makkah, which was safe and secure, its provision coming to it in abundance from every location, but it denied the favors of Allah. So Allah made it taste the envelopment of hunger and fear for what they had been doing. And there had certainly come to them a messenger from among themselves, but they denied him. So punishment overtook them while they were wrongdoers. 
Then eat of what Allah has provided for you, which is lawful and good, and be grateful for the favor of Allah, if it is indeed Him that you worship. He has only forbidden to you dead animals, blood, the flesh of swine, and that which has been dedicated to other than Allah. But whoever is forced by necessity, neither desiring it nor transgressing its limit, then indeed Allah is forgiving and merciful. And do not say about what your tongues assert of untruth, this is lawful and this is unlawful, to invent falsehood about Allah. Indeed, those who invent falsehood about Allah will not succeed. It is but a brief enjoyment and they will have a painful punishment. And to those who are Jews, we have prohibited that which we related to you before. And we did not wrong them thereby, but they were wronging themselves. Then indeed, your Lord, to those who have done wrong out of ignorance, and then repent after that, and correct themselves, indeed your Lord thereafter is forgiving and merciful. Indeed, Abraham was a comprehensive leader, devoutly obedient to Allah, inclining toward truth, and he was not of those who associate others with Allah. He was grateful for his favors. He, that is Allah, chose him and guided him to a straight path. And we gave him good in this world, and indeed in the hereafter he will be among the righteous. Then we reveal to you, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, to follow the religion of Abraham, inclining toward truth, and he was not of those who associate with Allah. The Sabbath was only appointed for those who differed over it, and indeed your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection concerning that over which they used to differ. Invite to the way of your Lord with wisdom and good instruction, and argue with them in a way that is best. Indeed, your Lord is most knowing of who has strayed from his way, and he is most knowing of who is rightly guided. And if you punish an enemy, O believers, punish with an equivalent of that with which you were harmed. But if you are patient, it is better for those who are patient. And be patient, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, and your patience is not but through Allah. And do not grieve over them, and do not be in distress over what they conspire. Indeed, Allah is with those who fear Him, and those who are doers of good. This completes chapter 16, An-Nahl, the Bee.